How's it going, people? I'm hanging in there, kind of tired though. Um, been wanting to do a video for a while and get some J Dub material. They had a a booth on the mall, and thought I'd do this one. I mean, be you know, will the suffering ever end? Uh, how do you view the future? Probably one day at a time. Uh, from the present. Uh, what is a key to happy family life? Who really controls the world? Can a dead really live again? I figured that I would read this one. Yeah, but first I want to have a refreshment. Yeah, been a long day. Ooh, that is good. Would you say it is a book of wisdom? A book of myths and legends? The Word of God. Um... I would say uh, mostly the middle, uh, and maybe a little bit of the first one. <sighs> That's how I view the Bible. All right, let's see what they got to say. What the Bible says about itself. All Scripture is inspired of God. All right, there you go. Second Timothy 3.16, the New World Translation. So check it against some other translations. I'm sure, it, it's going to be a little different. Um, what that can mean for you. Satisfying answers to life's big questions. Proverbs 2, 1 through 5. There they are. Look them up. There are all those answers you need. Reliable guidance for day-to-day -day living. Psalm 119, 50, I mean 105. Sorry, tired. Been a long day. So, yeah, that's reliable guidance, you know, about living in the modern world, written by some shepherd. Uh, real hope for the future, Romans 15, 4. Yeah, it gets better after everything ends. Uh. Oh, wow, that's nice. Can we really believe what the Bible says? Yes, for at least three reasons. Uh, amazing harmony. <laughs> the Bible was written over a period of 1,600 years by some 40 different people at least. Most of them never met one another. Yet, the entire book is harmonious with one central theme. What is that? That you got to love God because he's so scary and powerful and can crush you like a, an amoeba? What? Amazing harmony. I must have read a different Bible. Honest history. Yeah, the sun really did stop in the sky because, uh, you know, uh, because uh, Joshua needed to finish the battle off. And it went 10 degrees backwards because, you know, Hezekiah had hemorrhoids and Isaiah wanted to reassure him that it was going to be okay. That's some honest history there. And Balaam did argue with his ass. Okay. Secular historians seem quick to cover over the defeats of their people. Bible writers candidly recorded both their personal failings 
and those of the nation. Second Chronicles 36, 15, and 16. Psalm 51, 1 through 4. Well, since they wrote a lot of it during the Babylonian exile and had to explain where they got their asses kicked, and then the problem during the time of the Maccabees, and then the Roman occupation, I guess they were pretty used to the agony of defeat. So they had to explain why it was happening. <sighs> Reliable prophecy. The Bible foretold the destruction of the ancient city of Babylon, which got destroyed quite a few times, actually. Babylonian doesn't mean one group of people. There were several groups of people that were Babylonian. <sighs> I mean, yeah, it predicted the destruction of Iraq. That's a bunch of shit. All right. Um, yeah, some 200 years in advance, Isaiah 13, 17 through 22. I'll look that up. It revealed not only the manner in which Babylon would fall, but even the name of its conqueror, Isaiah. 45, 1, 2, 3. I mean, it couldn't have been written after the fact now, could it? Uh, numerous other Bible prophecies were also fulfilled down to the smallest detail. Yeah. Uh, but is that not what we would expect of the Word of God? <coughs> 2 Peter 1, 21. If you do not have a Bible, you can read it online at www.jw.org backslash en. Uh, go to publications Bible. Think about it. How can God's Word improve your life? The Bible answers that question at Isaiah 48, 17, and 18, and 2 Timothy uh, 3, 16, 17. To learn more without cost, at least not up front, read three lessons of this brochure, and then they, I'll put all that information where you can get that brochure. I'm trying to help save people, you know. Anyway, that was uh, the three reasons why we need to think of it the way they do. So, I think I'm going to go lay down. I'm pretty tired. I had a really hectic day. But let me know if that changed your life, because it would feel so good if I did some good in the world there. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is you're having. Bye. More to come.